So this is Derek Ward with DSLR Pros, and I'm here with Bodie Wick. I worked with your dad for 15 years on the Los Angeles City Fire Department at Fire Station 80s at LAX, and your dad told me that you had some questions, you were interested in drones, and, and then I got a phone call from you. Do you want to go ahead and tell your story about yeah. how that originated, what was your interest, how did that start, and what came of it? I had an interest in photography and videography, and I was looking for a different way to shoot because one thing I realized when I got into photography is like, what can I, how can I apply myself and make it unique? I talked to my dad and he said um, he knew this guy named Derek Ward and he ran, helped start to run the drone program at LA City Fire Department. And that's where it all started. Um, I remember when I came in and talked to, talked to you about drones, you gave me a lot of advice on how I could turn this into a business. And that's where my head just started running. I mean, I'm in a, a business class right now for my high school. And what we talk a lot about is taking action. And I feel like this is a huge part where I realized that once I became comfortable with using drones, and my first drone was a Skydio 2. Um, and you taught me a lot about that. And I asked you all these questions and I was, like, how could I turn this into a business? How am I going to be able to show my unique ability to a wider scale? And I remember you talked about how you started and you did real estate and you did inspection. And this just like totally opened my mind. And that's where it all started. I, so I took the action and I created my drone business, which I still now run today. When you first started, yeah. With the idea, and you came to me about drones, did you have in your mind right then that you wanted to use drones as a business, or did that come afterwards? No, that came afterwards. I would say I definitely had to think about really what I wanted to do. You know, there's so many different things you can do with drones. And I would say once I started realizing the possibilities and capabilities of what drones can do, either whether that be cinematography, um, I remember I even started out with just shooting my friend surfing. I just thought it was such an interesting way to get a different angle. Yeah, getting video and pictures from the air is completely different than any other way. Plus, you, you're able to move the camera right. where you can't do any other way, really. And, uh, you know, there's all these different types of businesses that you were thinking about, we talked about, and how to start in real estate. And Same. we talked about go out there and learn the learn the learn how to use the drone and the camera first and, yes. and start practicing, right? Yes. And then when you started getting better at it, you start posting your work on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and then start friending those realtors. And then the next thing you know, they see your work and they're calling and asking questions. And that's how it begins. And then you actually develop your skill as you are actually serving some of these others in the community also, right? Yes. And that's kind of what happened with you, isn't that right? Exactly, that's exactly what I did. So I would say my first step when starting this business was really realizing who I'm trying to reach. Um, I realized that I wanted to go into real estate photography because that's what I do want to do in the future. I want to be able to run my own real estate business and be able to invest in properties that's just always been something that I've wanted to do since I was young. So I was like, this is a great way to just meet the people in this business. I didn't really think about it more so as a drone business, but more as a networking business. And that's what I did. Instantly, I remember my first client was a photographer. He sent me a message and I went to this property and that was my first job. Um, I probably took 20 minutes worth of photos and was able to give them give him the photo shortly after. And this was just like something so unique to me that I never knew I was gonna be able to do. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. And you know, it's also cool is, the drone is like one aspect of it, but then you're bringing the business mind into that right. and you're meshing those together. And I think by actually going out and doing what you said in the beginning of this conversation, then that's take action, right? Yes. It's taking that action that your education really starts. It's when you start doing things and making mistakes and figuring out how to 
a solution to how to fix something exactly. and then you do it better and you become better and better at what you're doing. And that's true with real estate. It's true with doing surveying with drones or any other thing that we would do commercially with drones to make money. But the idea is to get good at the, at the skill, right, of exactly. flying and understand the technology and then go out and create something. But I think it's really unique and interesting how you've done so well with it. Why don't you talk about... I think something happened with you at your high school, right? Yes. Something that uh, th there was some sort of contest or something. I'm not sure how yeah. that went. Talk from beginning to end of what happened, what occurred with that. Yes, sir. So I am in a two-year program. Um, I'm in the second year of it, and it's a business class. And it's a great group of people. We all strive to um, create our own businesses, and I'm fortunate enough that I was able to um, get my business running fast and gain a good clientele. And so I got spotlighted for my high school. Um, it's called the HBHS Spotlight. It gets posted on LinkedIn, which goes a long way yeah. um, to show what students at Huntington Beach High School do. And I was again, blessed enough to be able to get that opportunity. Yeah, that was awesome. And I read that article, and it was yes, really cool to see the story that was developed in that article from you taking your business mind and using the technology behind a drone and then showing your work. What It was actually in that article where they were showed your videos and some photos that you had taken. A lot of people have good ideas and a lot of people have good educations, but not everybody has a good attitude. And the way we look at things in life is what propels us forward a lot of times. And I think you just had such a great attitude toward everything that you've done and, and you've, you've always shown respect everywhere you go and a desire to learn and want to know more. So I really commend you for your attitude, yes, uh, which I know comes from your dad, because your dad's the same way as you are. You know, uh, with a, show, a lot of people respect your dad and honor him for the work that he did with LA City yes, Fire Department and his attitude toward things. So, and I, I, I learned a lot from your dad, you know. So uh, I just really think that that's a great feature and a great thing for you to have. And anybody that wants to do business, really, to have a good attitude is gonna really serve you well, you know. I agree. And I also think for anyone that's looking to start a business, nothing's going to change if you're not going to do anything. If you have an idea and you're not going to put any work behind it, nothing's going to happen. And that's one thing that was huge for me is I had this idea, but I really had to take the opportunity I have with you and with the drone I had to really expand on this idea and make it happen. Because an idea is just something that's in a person's head. You can't really make anything out of an idea. It's just something that's there. It's taking action, right? Exactly. Once you take action, I feel like that's where actually the fun comes. That's when you can like really show what you're doing and kind of like get in a groove and be able to see the progress that you've made. Yeah, and I think a lot of times people don't take action because they're fear they're fear of failure. And you need to understand to be successful, you gotta have be a friend of failure. You gotta understand it's your friend, it's teaching you stuff. And by paying attention and learning from that failure makes you better at what you do. And that's why you overcome that that fear to become successful. Why don't you talk a little bit now about where you're at today and where you want where are you going? What what's your uh, plans for the future? Yeah, so where I'm at today, um, within the last three to four months, I have done a numerous amount of jobs shooting real estate, and that's been a great opportunity for me. I'm always looking for uh, new individuals to shoot for, and I'm also looking for any opportunities to shoot different types of things, whether that be, I know you talk about a lot of inspections, there's so many opportunities within a uh, within having a drone. Yeah, you're going to do well, buddy. You're going to do well because of your attitude, because you want to learn things, new things, and you're approachable. So there's a lot of things, you know, that you're going to do real well with. And you hit on a good point, and that is that, you know, you may start 
in one lane where you're doing photography, but then it introduces you to these other aspects exactly. of technology, whether it be mapping or cinematic photography or any of these different things you can do with drones, uh, inspections. So, yeah, it also opens your eyes to a lot of other ways of, of doing things with the same type of yeah. tool. But we're going to be using different payloads and different techniques and stuff, but yeah. basically it opens your eyes to other opportunities. So that's what drones do, you know, in general. There's just so many facets of where they can be used and how they can be used. Yeah, so with talking to my dad, I knew you work with DSLR pros, and I know with all that knowledge that you've applied so much. Well, Bodhi, DSLR pros spends a lot of time training commercial agencies and public safety with drones, helping them develop drone programs and training. So that's ongoing, and we do that all over the country. But we're also interested in helping individuals like you, you know, people who are starting out wanting to learn and do a business. And I really think this was a great opportunity for us to be a part of what you're doing and, and to be able to share some of your successes makes us happy. And that's what we like to do with even the larger aid agencies and, and public safety. So, well, it's great talking with you about your success and all your accomplishments, Bodhi, up to this point. I know that you're gonna have a tremendous amount in your future with your attitude and your skill level. So I just wanna thank you for coming today and sure. wanna let everybody there know that this is Derek Ward with DSLR Pros. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.